Uh, my name is Harry, and I, I'm from a company called Stargate. I don't know what the microphone is doing. I'll be okay with that. Thank you. And today, my topic was to talk a little bit about uh, virtual items, uh, how, how to make money uh, with virtual items. And my, my point of view is very much games-oriented. I know there are lots of other ways to, to also sell virtual items uh, within social networks or, or, or even uh, within some, some other type of communities. My views are on, on gaming and how, uh, how, how to sell virtual items within gaming. And, and our company specifically uh, does mobile social gaming. So, so that's my, uh, my point of view. And since uh, it's time to, to maybe uh, let you know a little bit more about the company, I have a, a short one minute video uh, that I, I will show you, and then we'll dive into, into the topic of, uh, of the day. Welcome to Star Arcade. Star Arcade is a social mobile gaming community where people from all over the world meet. We go beyond social scoreboards. People play together in real time and players can chat while playing. That's social. Star Arcade is the first true cross-platform gaming service. Users can play together regardless of their device or operating system. Star Arcade supports iOS, Android, Butter, Symbian, Windows Phone 7, BlackBerry, MIMO, Migo, and S40 platforms. And we even connect Facebook and mobile players to one huge gaming society. The games are well-known classics like Checkers and Reversi, or easy-to-adapt Star Arcade originals like Jelly Wars, Diamonds Paradise and Capture. All Star Arcade games are localized to all major languages. Games can be spiced with themes and virtual items that are available at the in-game shop. Customize the game experience to your needs. This is Star Arcade. The world is our platform. Okay, my, my views in terms of uh, geographies are, are very global. Uh, we have customers in about, well, just about in every single country in the world. Of course, there are, not, there are some countries where you don't have as many, as many paying customers or, or people who are even, even capable or, or willing to, uh, to make any payments. But, but you can say that my views on this are fairly, uh, fairly global. And, and we, as a company, we try and analyze quite a bit, okay, what is the motivation for, for our users to, uh, to pay? What is the motivation to, to buy virtual items? And, and that's how I kind of uh, approach the, the topic today. So all, overall, uh, the context of, of virtual items, I think the most uh, virtual items today still are sold within social gaming. Uh, social gaming like you can you can do online on Facebook or or some other uh, social networks we know that that's moving mobile and, and it's uh, moving to mobile very uh, very very rapidly and I, I just read recently some ar uh, articles with uh, would su uh, suggest that 25% uh, of the US uh, population are currently playing social games uh, and most of the most social games have certain uh, virtual elements, virtual goods elements, where, where you can spend money and ha somehow enhance or at least change the gameplay or how you see uh, uh, see the game or how your friends uh, might see the game. Interesting, very interesting is that more than more than half uh, of the players who play social games, casual games, or or even even mo uh, mobile social games uh, are women. And, and I think that's very different to, to a lot of other type of, uh, type of gaming, uh, gaming today. So, so that's, that's also an important factor for, for me and, and for, for all of us to keep in mind when we're thinking of virtual items and how to, how to actually sell uh, some stuff within our, uh, our games in this, uh, this specific case. And then there are uh, lots of uh, var various uh, numbers in terms of what, what they... Uh, virtual items or virtual goods in the uh, in the world are worth, and uh, what, what's the future like? Uh, but this is 
the, these are some, there, there's an estimation that it's worth uh, about $6 billion US uh, e next year. Uh, and, and then some say it's 14, uh, 14 billion by 2014. And, and you have as many, uh, as many estimates or guesses as, uh, as you, can, uh, you can think of. But I think these are, uh, these are fairly, um, let's say, in, in the middle, middle of, the, uh, of all of the, the, uh, the estimates. So what, what are the, the virtual items of virtual currency? What, what, what's, the, uh, what's the idea behind, um, uh, behind them? And again, this is in, in the game, uh, games con uh, context. Very often and most, uh, mostly uh, virtual items are sold so that there's a, some kind of currency system which you can uh, buy. You can buy the coins or currency, and then you can spend them on, on the items. And and very commonly, uh, you, you, can, you can earn, uh, purchase, buy, uh, or, or get a virtual currency uh, by, by different ways, different means, so that the end users are able to uh, buy, and buy for cash, usually. Or, or then they can, they can be given virtual uh, uh, currency by, by watching ads or, or, or performing some, some other type of action. Maybe... Uh, if they bring in a friend, uh, they can be given some uh, some virtual uh, virtual currency, or or it can be earned within the gameplay. Uh, for example, in in our case, uh, they can they can earn uh, virtual currency. Obviously, this is what, what we want to want to have, uh, but in in our case, uh, they can earn virtual currency by uh, by referring their uh, their friends to uh, to the games, uh, having their friends sign up uh, for the community. And that's how they can earn, and and then also when they come in uh, and check in on a daily basis, uh, that that gives them also virtual currency. Uh, so so there are many ways to uh, to earn the currency, and and obviously in the end this is what we uh, what we aim for, and and at least for us, all, all of these these are other means and uh, really are ways for for us to educate the uh, the gamers, uh, the people who are playing the games that, that you can actually buy some items. This is how, how you can do it. And then, of course, encouraging them to, to do things where we see uh, value. So in, in that sense, we can pay uh, our users using the, the virtual currency and, and virtual items. So virtual items, what, they, they can be really uh, pretty much anything. Uh, in, in our case, uh, you can customize the gameplay uh, and the avatar or the look and feel that you you actually see yourself or, or what your friends uh, friends see. You, you can buy advances in in the, in the actual game uh, gameplay. You can maybe uh, pass uh, some difficult stage or or you don't have to do certain things if you uh, if you use money uh, to to advance. And and this seems to be actually uh, quite critical, uh, especially. Uh, when we are talking about uh, people who who have uh, disposable income in their hands, and and maybe not always that much time, but they they still want to be active uh, within the games, that that that's very important for them. I I think we we're also seeing some results not not us as as a company, but overall we are even seeing some virtual uh, communities or or. or Villages or whatever you might want to call them, uh, actually uh, being bought with uh, with real money from from a gamer to uh, to gamer. And and then in in our case, the most important part is that you can buy advantage uh, over other players. So so you can buy weapons, you can buy uh, buy point systems, you can uh, you can do things where. Uh, where you become a better player even though you, you really are not. Well, this is, uh, this is probably the, the most important, uh, important part, at least for, for me, in, in all of the, uh, the virtual items and how, how do I design, uh, design the games, how do we uh, propose uh, certain items or elements in, uh, in the games. And, and these... Th oh, sorry. Uh, th these are not, not not really my thoughts as such, uh, but th these are 
uh, thoughts I've gathered from uh, from various people in in the industry, some some articles, and and also my my own own experiences. So, I claim uh, that there are uh, three different uh, types of motivations to uh, to spend money on, on on virtual items. Number one is to to gain advantage, uh, gain a advantage in the in the game. We spoke about this a little bit earlier. Uh, armor points. Uh, ad, uh, advancing in uh, within the game. Then we have uh, the one to communicate, uh, to tell your friends uh, or, or or people that that you meet in the community about yourself. Uh, tell them about how you feel, how you still, how how you're able to uh, connect with it uh, with each other. Uh, gifting could be could be one example of it, but there there, there are lots of other. Uh, other ways to communicate uh, with with each other as well, and and then an important one to be to be unique uh, somehow to be different from uh, from the mass, different from your friends, or sometimes even to be similar uh, with uh, with your friends to be unique but uh, be unique as uh, as a group. And and there we have uh, avatars. Yeah, you can have customize landing pages. You can uh, earn bragging rights, and there are a lot. Ways to uh, to be unique within games, within social communities, and and that's where uh, at least we are able to, uh, and and we see that a lot of companies are able to monetize on on people when when they want to be unique, want to be something different than uh, than their friends. And my my question is the what what is the difference between buying an expensive watch or, or spending lots lots of money uh, on a virtual item? My my answer to answer to the question is that there really isn't that much uh, difference. It's the motivation is is very similar. Uh, you want to communicate something. You maybe want to have bragging rights. Uh, you don't really need many of the virtual items that we sell. Uh, and same way, I feel that you don't necessarily need a, a twenty thousand uh, dollar watch. You the you can tell the time w with a much cheaper watch as well. But there, there are other reasons and motivations to, uh, to buy an expensive watch or to, to buy virtual items, even though so you cannot maybe touch them, uh, but you can see them, and especially your friends uh, uh, can see them. You feel that they bring some satisfaction or, uh, or some uh, fulfillment to you or, or to, to your uh, gameplay or to your community. And then a little bit about our our experiences at, at Star Arcade. Currently, about half of our revenues come from virtual items. We expect that to grow. Uh, well, we expect our revenues also to uh, to keep growing, but but we expect the uh, the share of the virtual items and the, the sale of virtual items to grow, and actually to grow uh, quite rapidly, and and to be a really a major part of our. Uh, our revenue streams. Uh, less than 10% of, of our active users actually make purchases. Uh, our numbers are fairly high in, in terms of uh, of the general in, uh, industry, and and we see that even out of the 10%, there there are people who who spend a lot of money, and and then. Uh, those are the ones that we really need to capture, and we need to find more of those that are, uh, are spending a lot of uh, a lot of money. The, this is uh, might be uh, you might all know this, but but at least for for us, uh, th this has been an interesting f uh, finding that the the players that are playing the most usually don't really the most. So even though those people that, that are playing a lot of games, spending a lot of time on your, uh, on your games or on, on your net, social network, they might not be the ones to actually bring you uh, the money. So it, it's a fine line of trying to figure out uh, how to serve and who to serve uh, as, as a customer because you need, you need those who, who spend a lot of time, who, who uh, create the critical mass for you. Uh, but you definitely need those who are willing, to, uh, willing and able to, uh, to, to use 
uh, use money. And then the ease of pay uh, payment uh, we see very, very important. E even though we sometimes think that there, there may be a countries where there's more uh, money available than, than in other places. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but also see, we see a very close correlation to, to the ease of payment uh, versus how, uh, how much people actually are spending on, on the games uh, overall. So ease of payment uh, for me uh, is, is very, very key. Uh, when, when I plan my revenues, when I, uh, when I try, and, uh, try and increase my, uh, my, my revenues. And, and it currently it varies a lot depending on the country, uh, very much. Then one, one point here, uh, con uh, we talk about consumable goods and, and durable goods within the virtual items. Very important to, to have both. Uh, personally, uh, as a CEO of the company, I, I really like the consumable goods. Consumable goods meaning things that uh, you have to keep buying again and again and again and again. Uh, things that people are, are using within their, uh, their games. In, in our case, for example, in our Jelly Wars game, uh, you can buy various types of bombs, but you, uh, you buy them in, in sets of 10 or, or, or 20 or anyway, se sets, of, uh, sets of bombs. And you keep using them quite uh, frequently and quickly, and then you, you come back and buy, uh, buy more. I really, really like, uh, like that, kind of, uh, that kind of items. But the, the durable goods which last the lifetime of, of the game, or at least an extended period of time, uh, they, they are important as well because that sometimes to some uh, consumers that, that is the one that actually gives you the value. Uh, you can change your avatar and when you change it once it, uh, it stays with you until you decide to, uh, to change it again or, or you, uh, you don't play anymore or, or you decide to upgrade uh, your, your game to, to something else. And then my, my final comment here. Uh, this is me. This is my motivation to, to buy virtual items. Uh, I could cheat in, in my games and I could just add money to my account, uh, but I've chosen not to do that so that I, I see a little bit how I, I personally uh, react as, uh, as a user. So I actually pay for every single uh, virtual coin that I, I spend on my, on my community. And this is for me. Uh, personally, I buy advantage in the games. I buy uh, special uh, weapons, I buy uh, uh, bonus points, uh, I buy score, scores, because I'm, I'm not a good uh, player, but I want to be uh, in, in the top of the charts. So, so that's, for me, my motivation to, uh, to buy. And that's my, my 20 minutes on, on, on virtual, virtual items. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I don't think many people are left over, but <laughs> any questions? No. Okay, well, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you.